Have you ever heard of an environmental product declaration or an EPD? If you haven't, take note. EPDs are emerging as an important tool that will help owners, architects, and engineers make procurement decisions around concrete and other building materials. Building materials do play a leading role in driving performance and sustainability. And Lafarge Wholesome is here to help you understand the issues that are changing the building industry. I'm Jackie Clark, and this is The Mix. Welcome, I'm Jackie Clark, and today I'm joined by Dave Diedrich, who is the Director of Quality and Product Performance, U.S. Cement at Lafarge Wholesome. Welcome, Dave. Thanks, Jackie. I'm glad to be here. Today, we're going to talk to Dave about one important topic that is going to help green procurement in the concrete industry, and that's environmental product declarations. So Dave, what is an EPD? Can you get one at your cardiologist? Oh gosh, no. I mean, an environmental product declaration, think of it as a nutrition label on your product. It starts with a life cycle analysis and finishes with independent third-party verification. Ultimately, it summarizes the environmental footprint of your product, in our case, cement. Are EPDs new or have they been around for a while? No, they have been uh, around for a while, Jackie, but in the past, our customers would just use the industry average. Today, they are asking for it on our individual products. So, Dave, doesn't all of this go into concrete? No, you're right on. It sure does. And in many cases, the ReadyMix producer is also being asked to produce an EPD on the concrete they produce. So, in order for them to do that, they need all of the EPDs on the ingredients in their mix. That's where we come in. It's all about transparency for the owner, architect, and engineer. Could you give us an example of how EPDs are used in the marketplace, Dave? Yeah, interesting. I mean, uh, uh, just last week, we have a customer that is being asked to provide EPDs on their mixes to the architect and engineer for a building owner who wishes to lower their environmental Uh, footprint significantly from industry averages. This building just happens to be on the east coast of the United States. You know, the reality is today for customers, they not only compete on service and quality, but they also are starting to compete on their environmental footprint. That's great to know. How is Lafarge Wholesome planning for the future? Is it safe to say that Lafarge Wholesome is engaged before or ahead of government mandates? You know, absolutely. Um, We're we're always innovating, but we're working hard on our products of the future to lead our industry in sustainability and provide our customers with products that meet the most stringent environmental requirements, yet continue to perform. In reality, the future is now. Dave, thanks again for joining us today. And before we go, let's take a moment to summarize the issue. EPDs are like the nutrition labels for cement and concrete. Second, EPDs are available now. Product specifiers are using them and will do so more in the future. And finally, Lafarge Wholesome is clearly at the forefront of product-specific EPDs for each of our plants, which drives innovation in our product portfolio for each of our plants. If you have questions about EPDs or you want to learn more about emerging issues in the concrete industry, please talk to your Lafarge Wholesome local sales representative or visit the Lafarge Wholesome website at materialsthatperform.com.